You ready? Yeah. We match. We do match. Sort of, I guess. You're all dressed up and fancy. And I look like a slob. I'm wearing a bacon t-shirt. No, you don't. But you have stripes on your bacon and I have stripes on my dress. <laughs> well, today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're going to make blue cheese dressing. This is my favorite condiment and we're going to make it right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews. We do recipe videos. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon in that way every single time we upload a new video you'll be alerted to it yeah so today we're going to make blue cheese dressing because one of our favorite foods if not our favorite food is wings yes absolutely although i could just eat this blue cheese dressing as like a soup yeah the problem with eating wings is i really like to dip them in blue cheese dressing and most of the blue cheese dressings you're going to buy in the store are made with garbage ingredients or they just don't taste that good. So we've got some dressing we have to share because I love this stuff. Yeah, this stuff tastes great. And it tastes great as soon as you make it. But it tastes even better when you let it sit for a day or even two days because the, the flavors of that blue cheese really get in. The challenge is letting it last that long. Yep. Now, it's, you only need a few ingredients. So let's go over the ingredients. And one of the ingredients we're actually going to have to make because we're out of it. But it's fine. It's going to give us another chance to show how we make our own avocado oil mayonnaise. And that's how quickly you can make it. So aside from that, we have the empty jar of Rachel's <laughs> mayonnaise. That actually says keep out on it. So we're going to make a jar of mayonnaise. We need mayonnaise. We need some sour cream. We need some Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. Our Worcestershire. Okay, then we're gonna need some salt. Red pens. And we need some garlic powder, which I have in there because I've already kind of like added in there. And then we need some black pepper. That's all, oh wait, one more important, really important ingredient. We need some blue cheese. Yes, that's kind of slightly That important. would be kind of important. So let's go over how to make this. The first thing we're gonna have to do is we need to make some mayonnaise because we're out of mayonnaise. So I let's move this stuff it. out of the way. Okay, so if you haven't seen us, I'm gonna leave a link down below for the mayonnaise recipe. There's also gonna be right up here, me actually making it. It's an old video, so kind of ignore the coloring and the fact that I don't blink when I'm doing it. Sorry. Okay, so what very we need- very serious about it. I am very serious when I cook. Intense. We need an egg for our mayonnaise and all we're gonna do Joe crack that. is crack it in the bottom since you're wearing a dress i'll do the cooking thank you because we don't want to get like egg and oil all over your pretty dress thank you so we'll get rid of that egg then we're gonna add to this egg right over the top one cup of oil and we're using avocado oil to that we're gonna add a teaspoon of uh, mustard a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar and a teaspoon of uh, lemon juice. We're gonna add that right on top. And then here's my new secret ingredient. Yeah, because we didn't always use this. Never used to do this. We're gonna use some xanthan gum. And I mean a little bit, like an eighth of a teaspoon. Just put that up on top. Then we're gonna take our immersion blender. We're gonna come down to the bottom. I don't think you're gonna be able to see this on camera, but we're gonna to try to trap that egg yolk right inside of the immersion. And we're gonna turn it on and kind of pulse it. And as we run it, it's turning white. we're gonna lift it up. And then we're gonna kind of lift it out to get the oil and then go back down. And we're gonna do this two or three times. Got to get that oil. We're using a small jar. Yeah, usually we make a vat of it. And that's it. Get my little spatula here. 
making a mess. But this stuff is the best. I don't think we've worked out, like how much does it cost to make? It depends on how much you're paying for your avocado oil mayonnaise. It's very, it's about half the price or less of say, buying like the Primal Kitchen. It's not $7 a jar. It's, I know that. It's not. I think I figured it out at one point. It came out to be about $4 a jar. Let me get this right here. Okay. So now look at the difference. If you've ever seen us make it before, it is a little bit runny. Mm -hmm. When you add that xanthan gum in, look at that. That's mayonnaise. It, I mean, it's what like you're used to. Hellman's mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now that we have that, we can actually make our blue cheese dressing. This is another one of those things. Everything can be made right in the storage container. We're gonna take our storage container. I love that. In the bottom of the storage container, we're going to add our blue cheese. Now it depends on how you want your blue cheese dressing. Do you want it really chunky? Do you want it like not really chunky? I like it chunky, but not to the point where you can't dip at all. Right. I, wa I want it, so somewhere in between, we're gonna start off with four ounces of blue cheese. Now we were actually, usually I'll buy this. And this little thing, which was eight ounces, cost me $4 in Publix. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of old, you know, it's sitting there. You don't know how old that cheese is. It's not super fresh. So this is what we would normally use. We went to Costco. They didn't have any blue cheese. A lot of times we like to buy a wedge because then you know it's fresh. Right. They didn't have that. They had gorgonzola, which a lot of people don't know. Gorgonzola is just an Italian blue cheese. I had no idea. It's, I mean, it's got a little bit of a different flavor profile. Like regular blue cheese is a little bit stronger, but this has got a great flavor. And since you didn't know that, I wanted you to actually taste it. That's why I pulled this one out. You'll see taste that you can taste test both. You'll see the gorgonzola is a little a little bit yellower. It's just a little bit yellower, but you want to taste that one. Okay, so this is the regular blue cheese. That's the regular. Which is delicious. Tastes like blue cheese. Mm-hmm. And here's your gorgonzola. Wow. Right away. I think gorgonzola Creamy. makes a better blue cheese dressing because the right flavors there. come through. Is that good? You got it. Okay. So we're going to start off. We've got four ounces of blue cheese dressing in here. And you want it, I want it big because as you mix it, it's going to crumble up a little bit more. Yeah. So start out with big chunks. Yep. Now to this, we're going to add a third of a cup of our mayonnaise. So we have our mayonnaise here. No wonder it's so good. It's this awesome mayonnaise mixed with awesome cheese. <laughs> And again, it, it doesn't, this doesn't have to be exact. Okay, so we've got about a third of a cup of mayonnaise there. Wow. And then we're gonna do a half a cup of sour cream. Wow. No wonder it's so tasty. <laughs> you need some seasonings? Okay, now to that, we're gonna add um, some salt, some black pepper, and some garlic powder. I've got a teaspoon of uh, uh, garlic. I've got about a teaspoon of salt and about a half a teaspoon of black pepper. And now we're just going to mix it. Okay, so now that we've got the seasonings kind of mixed in, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to add our uh, Worcestershire sauce. Start off with a quarter, a little bit more and then go ahead and mix it. Okay, we are done. Look at that. Look how quickly we made that. And we made the mayonnaise too. We made the mayonnaise. You're talking about less than five minutes, including making the mayonnaise. And look at how much mayonnaise we have left. This is actually a small batch of this for us. Okay, let's go ahead and take a taste. You got your spoon over there? I do. Okay. There's yours. Thank you. Now look how thick this is. If you don't want it this thick, just use less blue cheese. Don't Personally, do that to yourself. this is how I like it. You can dip your wings in there, get a little bit on, and then spread some blue cheese. Goes great on burgers. Mix it with some chicken breast. Salad. Chicken salad. Oh my gosh, everything. You ready? Here we go. Mm. So good. It is. It tastes incredible. And again, if you can let this sit overnight, that blue cheese 
It just takes over the flavor of the sour cream and the mayonnaise. Good luck keeping it in the house, though. Now, I wanted to go over this real quick because you saw how easy this was to make. You saw every single ingredient. Nothing unhealthy. We used avocado oil. We used pasture-raised eggs. And they were happy. And they were happy. We've got this. This was in our cabinet. We bought it one day. Discount. When we used to do like all of the wings like constantly from Winn-Dixie. And the kids are just like, they're drinking this stuff. Yeah. And I couldn't keep this like in the house. So we just had this for like emergencies, stuff Back like up. that. This was on clearance. $2.24. Regular price on this was five bucks. Here is the ingredients on this stuff. Water, soybean oil, blue cheese, milk cheese culture, salt, enzymes, vinegar, sugar, cornstarch, natural flavor, xanthan gum, phosphoric acid, polysorbate number 60, dried garlic, dried onion, lactic acid, artificial colorings, beta carotene, um, and then we got potassium sorbate and calcium disodium eta. I don't. I can't even pronounce that word. But it's to protect flavor. To protect the flavor. What are 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 they like vulnerable to not having flavor anymore? There is no reason to buy this. You see how quickly you could make your own blue cheese dressing. If you like blue cheese dressing, you got to try and make this. Let's go over the nutrition on this real quick. And nutrition on this is kind of hard because. It just is going to depend. Your chunks of blue cheese. Your chunks of blue cheese. Roughly, you're going to get about 10 servings out of this batch. Uh, a serving size being two tablespoons. Which and I think is fair. The best way to figure out your nutrition is add all of the ingredients up in something like chronometer and then divide it out how you're going to eat it. And then you're going to know exactly what your nutrition is. Right. But roughly two tablespoons, 115 calories, 11 grams of fat, three grams of protein, one carbohydrate. And it's delicious. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. delicious. Again, just to compare it to this, two tablespoons, 120 calories from fat, of 120 calories, 12 grams of fat. They're saying there's no protein. I don't know how they don't have any protein. It's made with blue cheese, which means there's not much blue cheese in here. No, and also there's no egg. Nope. Maybe that's it. And it's got a carb in it. So this is going to be much better. It's going to be better for you. It's going to be healthier, no inflammation, better flavors. Yes, it's going to cost a little bit more if you're using good chunky blue cheese. But you know what? Honestly, we used to buy this stuff and then have to go get this and mix to it in. Because there's no blue cheese there's in this. There's no chunks in this. So, Well, that is our video for today. Quick, short recipe video. Let us know down in the comments section if you make this. Also, let us know what other salad dressings you guys like, and we'll see if we can make some that are keto friendly. Absolutely. So please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.